Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound CDI2. Now, in order to do this, let's map out where cadmium is, which is CD, and where iodine is. So cadmium, CD, is over here on the periodic table. It's right down here. So since it's in a transition metal block, we know that CD is a metal, right? It's a transition metal. Iodine, or I on the other hand, is part of the halogens. It's right here on the periodic table, right? It's in group 7A or 7, uh, 17, right? And those are your nonmetals. So iodine is a nonmetal. We have all the elements accounted for, so now we can just start naming, right? The metal name, right, in this case, the metal name will always, always, always stay the same. So cadmium will just stay cadmium. Cad, and I think it's cadmium, okay? Now, the iodine, that's the nonmetal, that gets the IDE ending. So it would be iodine, right? But now it gets rid of the NE and it becomes iodide. So we have something like that. Now, the next part is up in the air, right? This depends on your teacher or professor preference. Usually, we would search to see if we need a Roman numeral. However, cadmium exists very closely like zinc does, and zinc always has a plus two charge. That never changes. The same thing for cadmium. Cadmium always has a plus two charge. So for some teachers and, and some professors, the Roman numeral isn't needed because since cadmium only has basically one oxidation state all the time, you can just leave it as cadmium oxide, even though it's a transition metal. However, some teachers or professors may want you to put the Roman numeral. So that's, that I would just ask your teacher or professor. So I would say that it would be the top one, cadmium iodide, but you might see it as cadmium two iodide. Technically both is correct, but just whether your professor or teacher wants you to use the Roman numeral or not, that's fine with me. All right. Just, just check, just check them on that. Okay. But I would go with the first one. So CDI2, since it only has one oxidation state, would be cadmium iodide. There you go. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Um, yeah. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out, and I hope you have a great day, all right? Keep studying hard. See you later.